It's like 5.30 in the morning. I've got a busy, but it should be a fun day today. I'm uh, driving Jody into London. I've got to drop off some video footage to a client, and then I'm gonna go pick up a new tripod and potentially more than one new tripod. So let's hit the road. Made it to central London and I'm surrounded by bicycles. Ah! Oh my god. Where do I go? <gasps> Watch out, man! <laughs> I'm driving here! In fact, both local San Francisco papers are investing a lot of money to try and get the service just like that started. Science editor. I made it through the seemingly never ending swarm of cyclists here in London who apparently don't have to follow traffic laws. Crazy, right? And I dropped off my footage at the media center here in London. That's for like the Visit Scotland, Visit Great Britain project I was doing. And now I get to go to the three-legged thing offices. I'm such a fan boy. I think I got a parking ticket. Actually, I know I got a parking ticket. Oh man. I guess when the signs say permit holders only, you should follow them. This is going in the Income Octopus next month. Anyways, let's get up to the three-legged thing offices. Just like that started, science editor Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system. So I'm up in Bedfordshire at the three-legged things, I guess, head office. And uh, when I was talking to them, they called it the chicken coop and I had no idea why. Now I know it's legit like at a farm in an old chicken coop, which is actually really cool. Now, before I go in here, I just want to let you guys know, I am not sponsored by three-legged thing. I've never been paid by three-legged things. I'm not even an ambassador for three-legged thing. They have in the past given me free tripods, which I love, but I would use them anyway because I really, really love the product. In fact, I've used other tripods in the past, and every time I have, I've always come back to the three-legged thing stuff. So, absolutely love the brand. Let's go see what's up in the office, and then, uh, and then yeah, I guess we'll go out shooting somewhere with the new gear. It's the three-legged thing family. Corey, Leo, Albert, Winston, Billy. So that was awesome. It was good hanging out and, uh, and meeting the people behind Three-Legged Thing. One of the reasons I went with Three-Legged Thing years ago, one of the reasons I started using them is because they were innovating. Everybody else was kind of just making sticks and they were trying to do things that were innovative and try to improve the product. And I've got two new products today. Um, I gave up Albert. I loved Albert, and Albert's probably the best tripod for travel. Albert's packed up and small, and then it also goes tall, but I wanted to go bigger. So I got a Winston, and Winston's the biggest tripod that they make, and then I also got a Billy. And Billy's a small, fairly um, affordable tripod that's also carbon fiber, and I can use this when I'm in situations where I need the big tripod, and I can use this when I want things to be small. So I think what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna go down to Brighton Beach and do some shooting and test out these tripods. Let's go. It's also worth noting that when I showed you guys my new camera bag the other day that I didn't realize there was actually a tripod attachment hidden away. So now I have my tripod attached and with a little bit of ingenuity, I actually managed to tie both tripods. So I got both Billy and Winston back there and it's really raining. So hopefully we can get some shots even though it's a little bit wet outside.
You guys know how I'm always talking about no matter what, there's always a shot to be had. I think even though there's definitely not gonna be sunset here today, there's a lot of shots to be had here. Once the light comes down and we hit blue hour, there's shot to the pier, there's shot to this beach. And that's actually really, really interesting and really cool. So I think I'm gonna have fun here once the sun comes down, but I think I am gonna have to wait until the sun comes down to get those shots. Also, about the sensor spot that's either here or here, I know. I see it. It's bad. I'm sorry. Got Billy doing a little bit of time-lapse footage with the GoPro. This is like the length it is if you don't unbuckle everything. I have no idea the exact stats, but yeah, about that high. Like foot and a half, two feet. It'll actually also, if you take out the center column and stick the legs out, get right flat on the ground, which is really cool. Um, yeah, I'm just using it today to shoot time-lapse on the GoPro. But you can also throw on like a full-on DSLR or mirrorless camera if you want it. It can definitely hold the weight. So I packed Billy away and I brought out the big gun. I got Winston out now. Something uh, might be happening with the light. It looks like there might be a break on the horizon. Can't see it here because it's blocked by the pier, but I'm gonna get the big gun set up. I'm gonna get Winston set up and take some pictures, hopefully with the sky lit up, because that would be amazing, amazing. So let's get set up, let's find some compositions and let's shoot. This is Winston set up at its peak. And check this out, it's actually got no center column lifted. There's only three sections on each leg, so nine sections in total. And it's almost as tall as me. I'm six foot tall and it's almost as tall as me. With the center column, it goes up like that. That must be seven feet tall. Awesome, definitely, definitely a beast. <laughs> The light's not great, it didn't happen. Clouds rolled in, but I'm loving, 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 loving these images actually. I'm shooting a six stop ND and a three stop soft grad ND on the 16 to 35 millimeter lens and I'm shooting 30 seconds F11 and it's coming out really, really beautiful. I didn't get the light I wanted, but I got the shots I wanted. I'm actually happier with these shots than I think I would have been with like a really epic sky. I'm really a fan of what came out of tonight. What I'm not a fan of is Sony camera batteries. I somehow misplaced two batteries today and I've been trying to shoot this whole vlog on one Sony battery and it just doesn't work. Sony batteries are so bad as much as I love this vlogging camera. So I don't have enough time to give you guys like the full on final thought on the tripods. Instead, I'm gonna whip back to Kent and I'll give you the final thoughts on things tomorrow, but I guess on this vlog. So stick with me as I drive back towards Kent and then we'll talk about the two tripods I have now and Albert, which I had. And if you guys wanna see Albert, there's my review on Albert up in the top right. Albert, I still believe, is the best tripod for travel, but these two are also awesome for their own uses as well. So let's jump in the car and head to Kent. Meanwhile, we're from
across town in this less than fashionable cubby hole of the San Francisco Examiner. These editors are programming today's copy of the paper into that same Ohio computer. On the telephone connection between these two. Okay, guys, I'm back in Kent, and I, I want to talk a little bit about the tripods. But since I talked a lot already today about the tripods and kind of got the gist of it already, I'm going to try to be quick. This is Winston. Billy is now like vlogging. <laughs> Billy's set up and he's shooting the vlog right now. And I'm probably gonna use Billy a little bit, um, maybe behind the scenes, maybe, you know, setting up vlog shots and stuff like that. I think Jody's probably gonna use Billy quite a bit as well. I am probably gonna mostly use Winston. I have to say this about Winston. I love it. It's such a high quality, strong tripod and it's quite light. But it is a beast. It's pretty big, especially compared to Albert. And I don't think it's the best tripod for travel. And that's not to say it's not the best tripod. It's just not the best tripod for travel. Albert had one more section of legs on each leg and had more sections in here. So it packed up to be about this size. And I really do believe that Albert is the best tripod for travel anywhere. I absolutely loved Albert, but as so often is the case, I really have to make sacrifices being a, tra a professional travel photographer. And so often it was the case that I was struggling or a little bit worried with Albert out in the field just because it wasn't tall enough or I was a little bit worried that maybe it wasn't going to be stable enough. And to get a good sharp image, there's nothing more important than good stable feet. So I've decided to go with the absolute most stable feet here in Winston. Winston, I think if you're a photographer, Winston's a landscape photography tripod. It's something that's quite lightweight, that packs down not so small, but you can throw it on the side of your hiking bag. And most importantly, it's gonna be sharp no matter the conditions, with heavy wind, with rain, out in the coast, no matter what, this thing is so, so stable. I was just blown away shooting in Brighton yesterday at how stable it was and how quickly I can set this up from packed away to up on the feet. And I'm taking my time because I'm talking obviously, but it's set up right there. And super, super stable, like incredibly stable. And of course you've got the legs, so if you need even more stability, you can kick out the legs. I'm gonna love this tripod. It's gonna really, really do well for me. So that's it guys on today's episode. Tomorrow we're heading to, to Iceland or getting started on our Iceland trip. So I'm gonna show you my packing list for Iceland. Some fun content coming up and I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. That same Ohio computer. When the telephone connection between these two terminals is made, the newest form of electronic journalism lights up Mr. Howard.